Welcome everyone to Temple Solel's Friday night Shabbat service and also Chag for all for everyone celebrating Shmini Atzeret Simchat Torah. We're going to begin this evening. Myself, Rabbi Efrat Zaren Zohar, and Cantor Israel Rosen and Robin Rosen, with the Cantor leading us in a nigun for this special evening. <laughs> Lai 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 call upon Robin Rosen to kindle the Shabbat lights this evening and the holiday lights as well. So there's a Ne'er Shell Shabbat, Veh Yom Tov. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam asher kiddushanu be mitzvotav v'tzibanu lehad ligner shel Shabbat ve Yom Tov. Amen. Let us light this light and see the way to you and let us say Amen. Let us light this light and see the way to you and let us say Amen. And now we continue with Hine Matov, how good it is and pleasant when we are all together, even virtually. Hine Matov Manahim, Shevet Achim Gam Yachad. 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 Hine matov umanahim, shevet achim gam yachan. Hine matov umanahim, shevet achim gam yachan. Hine matov umanahim, shevet achim gam yachan. And with... Simchat Torah upon us as well, this beautiful piece of writing. May our eyes sparkle with the light of Torah and our ears hear the music of its words. May the space between each letter of the scrolls bring warmth and comfort to our soul. May the syllables draw holiness from our heart and may this holiness 
be gentle and soothing to us and all God's creatures. As together we sing Shalom Aleichem. La 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 מלך ממלך הם מלכי המלכים הקדוש ברוך הוא בואכם לשלום מלכי השלום מלכי העליון ממלך ממלך הם מלכי המלכים הקדוש ברוך הוא לה 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 הקדוש ברוך הוא. לה 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 התקדל והתקדש שמר רבה בעולמה דברה חירותי וימליך מלכותי בחיי חון וביומי חון ובחיי דכל בית ישראל בגלה בגלה ובזמן קריב וימרו אמן יהי שמי רבה מבורך לעולם ולעולמי עולמיה יתברך, יתברך וישתבח, ויתפאר ויתרומם ויתנשא, ויתהדר ויתעלה ויתהלל, שמי דקודשה בריחו. לעילה מן כל ברכתה ושירתה תושבחתה ונחמתה דמירן בעלמה והימרו אמן. So tomorrow... We will be completing and beginning the reading of Torah again, and you are all invited at 9.30 for our Torah study, Simchat Torah celebration, and at 9 o'clock for Yizkor. We rejoice in the truth Torah brings to our people. Its teachings are eternal and ex inexhaustible. They are life-giving and life-renewing. Tonight, we give thanks for the precious gift of Torah, we love it for the depth of its humanity and revere it for its mysterious power. May our study of Torah enrich our lives and bring gladness to our people. As together we sing. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad ברוך שם כבוד מלכותו לעולם ואהבת את אדוני אלוהיך בכל לבבך ובכל נפשך ובכל מאודיך 
והיו הדברים האלה אשר אנוכי מצבך היום על לבביך ושיננתם לבניך ודיברת בם בשבתך בביתך ובלכתך בדרך ובשוכבך ובקומך וקשרתם לאות על ידיך והיו לטוטפות בין עיניך וכתבתם על מזוזות ביתך ובשעריך למען תזכרו ועשיתם את כל מצוותי ואיתם קדושים לאלוהיכם אני אדוני אלוהיכם אשר הוצאתי אתכם מארץ מצרים להיות לכם לאלוהים אני אדוני אלוהיכם. Standing on the parted shores of history, we still believe what we were taught before ever we stood at Sinai's foot, that wherever we go it is eternally Egypt, but there is a better place a promised land, and that the winding way to that promise necessarily passes through the wilderness, that there is no way to get from here to there except by joining hands and marching together. <laughs> ומרים זה אלי אנו ואמרו אדוני ימלוך לעולם ועת לעולם 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 ועת ים גר בם 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 ים גר בם 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 ים בם בם ים בם בים בם 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 ונאמר כפדה אדוני את יעקב וגאלו מיד חזק ממנו ברוך אתה אדוני גאל ישראל. Let there be love and understanding among us. Let peace and friendship be our shelter from life's storms. Adonai, help us to walk with good companions, to live with hope in our hearts and eternity in our thoughts, that we may lie down in peace and rise up, waiting to do your will. Blessed are you, Adonai, guardian of Israel, whose shelter of peace, Sukkot Shalom, is spread over us, over all your people Israel, and over Jerusalem. Baruch Ata Adonai HaPore Sukkot Shalom Aleinu Ve'al Kol Amo Yisrael Ve'al Yerushalayim Yismechu ve'malchutcha Shomrei Shabbat Yismechu ve'malchutcha Shomrei Shabbat Yismechu ve'malchutcha Shomrei Shabbat שומרי שבת וקורי עונג שבת. ישמחו במלכותך שומרי שבת. ישמחו במלכותך שומרי שבת. ישמחו במלכותך שומרי שבת. שומרי שבת וקורי עונג שבת. עם עם מקדשי, מקדשי שבי שבת. כולם יזבעו ויתקנדו מטובך, מטובך. ובשביעי רצית בו וקידשתו, 
אלפיהם דת ימים, אותו קראת, זכר למעשה וראשית. ישמחו במלכותך שומרי שבת, ישמחו במלכותך שומרי שבת, ישמחו במלכותך שומרי שבת. שומרי שבת וקורא יונק שבת. ישראל עמך, שלום רב על ישראל עמך, תשים לעולם, תשים לעולם, שלום רב תשים לעולם, תשים לעולם, תשים לעולם, שלום רב תשים לעולם, כי אתה עומדך אדון לכל, אדון לכל השלום, כי אתה עומדך אדון לכל, אדון לכל על ישראל עמך, שלום רב על ישראל עמך, תשים לעולם, תשים לעולם, שלום רב, תשים לעולם, תשים לעולם, תשים לעולם, שלום רב. תשים We take a moment now to pray for all those in our hearts and in our homes who need healing, physical, emotional, or spiritual. And tonight we particularly are going to be thinking 
about Rachel Batfruma and also Robin, who else? Uh, Jill Parker, Ann Becker, Heidi Stevens, and the Fishman family. We take them into our hearts along with all of those for whom you tonight are praying. You can speak their names out loud. You can put them in what, whatever chat function may exist, however you are watching. But know that our energy, our thoughts of healing make a difference in this world as together we pray on their behalf with the cantor for Rafua Shlema, complete and speedy healing. begin, I want to acknowledge Rabbi Leah Richman, from whom this sermon is adapted. If I were to ask you if you thought Orthodox Jewish belief supports only a literal interpretation of the creation story in the Torah, you might be inclined to say yes. After all, don't Orthodox Jews believe that the Torah is an accurate historical account dictated by God? to Moshe Rabbeinu, Moses on Mount Sinai? Well, I have a news flash for you, one that is from over 10 years ago. In December of 2005, the RCA, Rabbinical Council of America, which is often seen as representing the modern Orthodox movement, issued a statement titled Creation, Evolution, and Intelligent Design. And according to the article on the organization's website, the statement was issued, quote, in response to the public debate over intelligent design and scientific theory, clarifying its view on this matter as it relates to Torah Judaism and the biblical account of creation. This statement affirms that belief in God and the Torah is not incompatible with evolutionary theory properly understood. The position piece explains that there is a diversity of interpretations among great sages available to inform us how we can understand the creation story today. And to quote from the statement directly, they quote a variety of different sources through time. Some refer to the Midrash, which speaks of God developing and destroying many worlds before our current epoch. Piece explains, others explain that the word yom in biblical Hebrew, usually translated as day, can also refer to an undefined period of time, as noted in the book of Isaiah. Still others say yom, as mentioned in the biblical account of creation, could not have been a 24-hour day, at least 
for the first three days since the sun, moon, and stars are created on the fourth day. So how long is a yom on those first three days? Well, that could be eons. Maimonides stated that what the Torah writes about the account of creation is not all to be taken literally, quote, as believed by the masses. That was in his guide for the perplexed. And recent rabbinic leaders who have discussed the topic of creation, such as Rabbi Samson Raphael Hirsch and Rabbi Avraham Isaac Cook, saw no difficulty in explaining Genesis as a theological text rather than a scientific record. I would be remiss in not mentioning that the Orthodox world is a wide one with many different streams, organizations, philosophies, and beliefs. So the Lubavitcher Rebbe, for example, Rabbi Menachem Mendel Schneerson, Zichrono Livracha, famously wrote, for example, that the world was fully created with fossils and bones buried deep in the earth within it. So it's important to recognize, as the RCA statement points out, that there is a large range of Jewish belief on this matter. You know, while teaching once, a young girl asked, if God really and truly made Adam out of the soil and formed him into a man and then blew a soul in through his nostrils. And I explained that we don't actually know what happened, but what we do know is that each one of us is the descendant of Adam. And because Adam's soul is made of God's breath, according to Torah, that means that each one of us has a bit of God's breath within us. And that is the important part after all, isn't it? In this time of division in our country and in our world of such great partisanship of the right and the left drifting further and further apart, it seems that sometimes we are all living in our own echo chambers. I thought it was refreshing to come across this statement and remember that oftentimes we have more in common than we realize, even on the most unlikely of topics. The most important thing we have in common, though, is we each have a bit of God's breath within us. And that reminded me of a wonderful series in the Forward by Abigail Pogrebin entitled 18 Questions About God. And I was reading it over during the High Holy Days. Very interesting series. I highly recommend it. It's a website, the forum, the forward. I don't believe they publish, maybe they do publish actual things that you can hold in your hand now, but I only read it on the web. And in this series came a letter to the editor that Rabbi Arthur Waskow wrote. Um, and Rabbi Waskow said something so profound that I want to read part of his letter to you. I have explored one of the oldest biblical names as really a way of seeing the world. Moses heard that name, yud Hey vav Hey, at the burning bush. The name never had vowels and so was not pronounced Yahweh nor Jehovah, if one tries to pronounce it, what comes from the word yud he vav he is simply a breath. Yawa. Its brilliance as a name of God is that it alone, breathing alone, is spoken in every human tongue. All the myriad names of God have breath as their root and nurture. And not only human languages, but also every grass and tree, every frog and leopard, the interbreathing of oxygen and CO2 between animals and vegetation is what keeps all earthly life alive. As the Sidur, the prayer book teaches us, Nishmat kol chai tivarech et shimcha yud he vav he Adonai Eloheinu. The breath of all life praises your name, Yah, our God, because the name is the breath of all life, quite literally. In that phrase, our God, Eloheinu, it doesn't mean the Jew's God, nor the human's God, but the God 
of all living, breathing beings. And in our era, when the entire web of life on earth is threatened by the insistence of some human carbon pharaohs on choking us with more CO2 than all the trees and grasses can transmute to oxygen, what we call the, quote, climate crisis is a crisis in the very name of God. Naming God as the interbreathing spirit of the word, Ruach HaOlam, is to see each being as unique, all interwoven into Echad, the One. Shabbat Shalom and Chag Sameach. Looking forward tomorrow to exploring this more with you. And now we turn to those who have recently passed in our community. We take them tonight into our hearts and we remember them. Their loss is fresh for their families. And so we offer them strong community at this difficult time. This evening, we remember in particular Eli Barron's husband of Joanna, father of Samuel, brother-in-law of Nancy and David Johnson, uncle of Julie Tritt, Kathleen and Eric Johnson, and Michael Johnson, the nephew of Perry Weiss and Marilyn Goldstein, as well as having numerous cousins. We also remember during Shloshim Barry Y. Logue, brother of Leslie Reich, uncle of Jessica and Jeffrey Blaze, and David and Barbara Reich, and the great uncle of Emily and Abby Blaze, and Daniel, Jake, Sophia, Adam, and Victoria Reich. Tonight we also remember as yard sites the following people Michael Allspector, Bernard Applebaum, Louis Balanzo, Isidore Becker, Kim Bell, Myrna Belsky, Herbert Breger, Esther Brody, Elena Califf, Marwin Cassell, Leon Dunninger, Dr. Meyer Feingold, Rosemary Glantz, Janet Glick, Clarice Gomez, Brian Gondick, Melvin Gleck, Gloria Greenberg, Sally Hirsch, Hilbert Horwitz, Marcel Israel, Ida Jonas, Jeremy Class, Walter Klein, Annie Kotler, Ruth Lane, Frank Lerner, Annette Levine, David Liss, Luba Mandelbaum, Joseph Mersand, Carol Meyerson, Alan Neustadter, Mildred Page, Carol Press, Harry Rabin, Martin Robbins, Morris Seamus, Sam Schatz, Harry Silverstein, Isabel Scubin, Francis Stamberg, Leonard Strauss, Barbara Tucker, Lillian Weil, Meyer Weinger, Robert Weishot, Valerie Wallifer. We take them into our hearts along with any other yard sites we might be observing this evening. In reciting the Kaddish, we affirm our awareness of holiness in our world. Much of our experience of divine goodness, grace, and love has come to us through those whose lives have touched our own. We invoke the transcendent power of love and caring as we together sanctify God's name. It gadal v'it kadash shamei rabah, be'olma divra chirutei v'yamlich malchutei, v'chayichon uv'yomeichon uv'chayei d'chol beit Yisrael, ba'agala u'vizman kari v'imru, Amen. Yehei shmei rabah mevorach le'olam ulalmei almaya. Yit barach, v'yit tabach, v'yit pa'ar, v'yit romam, v'yit nasei. V'yit hadar, v'yit ale, v'yit halal, shamei d'kudesha berichu. Le'ela min kol birchata v'shirata, tush b'chata v'nechemata, da'amiran be'olma v'imru, amen. Yehei shlama raba min shamaya. V'chayim aleinu v'al kol Yisrael v'imru amen. O se shalom b'mromav, hu ya'ase shalom aleinu v'al kol Yisrael v'al kol Yoshvei Tevel. 
Ve'imru, Amen. We ask God who makes peace in the heavens to bring that peace, that shalom, that sense of wholeness and equanimity down to us here on earth. We really, really, really need it, as we all say. Amen. Matthew, I believe there are some announcements this evening. And we are good. So thank you very, very much. And beautiful service so far. And uh, I think there's an extra kick in uh, Cantor Israel Rosen's step tonight because his voice is amazing. So great job as always. Thank you so much. And Robin, go ahead and tell him what I just said. I don't think you heard me. All right. So good evening. On behalf of the Temple Board of Directors, I would like to thank our solo family and friends as we do every Friday night, as well as our global audience for connecting with us virtually and spiritually on this Shabbat evening. Thank you for joining us for all our virtual events as we stand in solidarity and have compassion for all those who are suffering from coronavirus and the anxieties of the moment. In these difficult times, we want you to know that Temple Solel is here and is here for you. In addition to streaming worship services and classes, our lines are made open and you are encouraged to contact us for your religious, spiritual, and other needs. So Robin Rosen, wife of Kit Rosen, uh, has a special announcement, and it is, as you watch Temple Solo's virtual services on Friday night, we realize there are family and friends you know who are ill and whose names you wish could have spoken aloud during Misha Berach, portion of the service. Robin and Kenta would be honored to announce the name or those names for you. Please email the names to the Cantor's email address, which I'll give you in a moment, as early in the week as possible. You must have the names to Robin and Cantor no later than 3 o'clock p.m. on Friday afternoon. You can reach, and I'll put this on the website, Cantor at TempleSolel.com. So thank you, Robin and Cantor, for that. Uh, the Tacon Alum Committee is happy to announce that they received a $25 grant for Shemayim, a Jewish animal advocacy organization, to sponsor nine events throughout the year featuring plant-based foods and educating our temple community about the advantages of a plant-based diet. Our kickoff event was our Tosh Lake service at Oak Lake Park. Members cast their sins into the water, retrieved litter from the water and shoreline, and celebrated our Shemayim Grant kickoff with a great discussion and take-home treats. We will also be sponsoring cooking demos, events for our students, and a book and a movie event. We invite everyone to participate in these events. Also, if you have any idea for an event or you would like to see, please contact Stephanie at um, or Scott, and I'll be posting their email addresses on our Facebook page. For all our live events, you can view us in one of two ways. First, on the Temple's Facebook live stream, as you are right now, and of course, on our website at templesolel.com backslash live. Um, a couple of events coming up I want to share with you. Uh, tomorrow, of course, uh, as Rabbi said, 9 a.m. we have the Yisker services and 9.30 a.m. special Torah study. Um, the 9 o'clock Yisker services will be streaming live, and then 9.30 a.m. will be typically on our Zoom. Sunday, October 11th, we'll be going ahead and having our religious school at 10 a.m. Uh, there will be no confirmation class this week. We'll be resuming that a week from Tuesday. And then we're back here again Friday, October 16th for Shabbat services and again Saturday morning, October 17th for tour study. So we ask that everyone stay safe. We pray that everyone stays in good health and a very special Shabbat Shalom. And let me go ahead and bring it back over to you, Robin, Cantor, and Rabbi. So back to you. Thank you. And I just also like to say that if anyone wants to um, write in the correct pronunciation of their loved one's names on our Kaddish list, please do so to Anita, A-N-I-T-A, at templesalal.org. That way we will be able to say them correctly. And now Cantor, lead us in our closing song. It's dot com. Sorry. Anita at templesalal.com. Special song for the holiday of Simchat Torah, and join us tomorrow for the dancing of the with the Torah at nine o'clock in the morning. 
סיסו וסימחו בשמחת תורה ותנו כבוד לתורה 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 סיסו ושמחו בשמחת תורה ותנו כבוד לתורה סיסו ושמחו בשמחת תורה ותנו כבוד לתורה סיסו ושמחו בשמחת תורה ברוך אתה אדוני אלוהינו מלך העולם בורא הרי הגפן ברוך אתה אדוני אלוהינו מלך העולם אשר קידשנו במצוותיו ורצבנו ושבת קודשו באהבה וברצון הנחילנו זיכרון למעשה וראשית כי הוא יום תחילה למקרא קודש זכר ליציאת מצרים כיוונו וחרת ואותנו קידשת מכל העמים ושבר קודשך באהבה וברצון הנחלתנו ברוך אתה אדוני מקדש 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 השבת Yes, and the Motsi. And we sing, Baruch Atah Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, HaMotsi Lechem Min HaAretz. Amen.